What is up guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. So if you guys have a desktop that looks like this, now I notice some of you, this might, <laughs> this might be considered organized. Um, it's not, not in my eyes anyway. So if you have a desktop that looks like this, or even worse, I've seen icons from corner to corner, top to bottom, left to right. Um, and I don't understand how people can do that. But if you have a desktop that looks like this or what I've just described and you don't want to take the time to organize them, I've got a cool solution for you. So let's open this web page up. Uh, link is down in the description below. And this is 100% free, guys, by the way. So you don't have to buy anything completely free. And so what this does is this is from a company called iTop. I've actually done a review for their software a bit of software for them prior so check out my long list of videos for that um, but they've asked me to make another video regarding their easy desktop uh, free software so this is a sponsored video so go to the link in the description below and you're going to go ahead and click download now once that gets downloaded and installed come back over here to your desktop or wherever you have downloaded the file i've got mine installed and it's right here so we're going to go ahead and run this and i'll show you a little bit about how this works now when you guys run this for the first time you're going to see this if you're familiar with the product and you can customize it yourself hey happy happy go lucky do your thing um, if you are not familiar with the product and you just want to do a quick start um, we will just go ahead and click the quick start here and we will show you what happens. So when you do that, you see a couple things here. You see the main box, the main graphic user interface for the software pull up, but you also see all these other boxes, all these other windows on top of your desktop that the iTop Easy Desktop has already organized for you. So it's kind of already put it into folders. It is taking your programs and put them in one folder. Um, it didn't find any folders, so it didn't put any folders there, but it does create a folders folder, if that makes sense. And then it grabs all your files and documents and throws them into one place. Now, yeah, theoretically, these should be in if your start menu for your programs. Um, this is just based upon how I like it. These should be in your start menu and files and documents should be in your documents folder. Uh, but if you insist on having things on the desktop, this is a good, easy way to clean these up. Okay, guys, and if we look closer at this, um, our main graphic user interface here for the options and whatnot, um, you can come down here. Um, you can actually come in here and you can disable the boxes, which will make them go away. But you can also add new boxes here if you had another category that you wanted to store on there. Um, so that's kind of cool. And I don't think that you're limited to the amount of boxes that you put on there. That limitation is only going to be the, um, the desktop space that you have. Um, and if you want to, you can actually come in here and resize these. You just kind of grab them like any other window. And you can just kind of resize them. So I think you got to, let me get that out of the way. Yep, you can resize that. And then you can just grab these and move them where you want as well. So you want them in any particular order there, you can do that. So let's go ahead and resize this one. And that's just to show you guys that you can kind of move these wherever you want. Now, if we take a look closer look at this, you can actually come down here and you can choose um, your box and say you want to change, let's choose programs. Um, let's just say, for instance, you want to change the color of this programs box instead of the blue that it is. Uh, let's give it this nice little color here. And so once you do that, you will see that it has this nice little color here. It's kind of a cool little program. There's a lot of configurations to it. Um, it can help you out organize and you don't have to have just one boring color. You can kind of spice it up. You can change the colors of the different boxes to make them look different, set them apart if you want. 
Uh, let's go with orange. I like the orange color. That really doesn't look like orange to me, but okay. There we go. So yeah, guys, so if you just kind of thumb through here, you can do this. There's different colors that you can use. And if we move on here, let's go to organization. And now you can actually, like it says down here, click the types below to edit or click and add to add a new type. Um, so it's kind of like the folders. Um, you're just um, putting some new rules, box rules here. We keep going quick actions, just different little options here. Uh, these are really personal preference, to be honest with you. So uh, scroll through here and see if uh, anything applies to you. Um, if not, a lot of people leave this blank. And um, yeah, we scrolled down and went to the layout. And so the, you can actually choose the amount of pixels apart that the boxes are going to be at. Um, some other cool features here, if we go down to wallpapers, you can actually change your wallpapers. And uh, some of these are actually like a GIF or video wallpapers. So those are kind of neat, but again, they are all free. They come with the iTop desktop organizer here. Um, and then you can actually um, enable a search to search for other stuff. And this right here, your general, and search many to the desktop. This comes up by default when you first install it and first run it. Um, then you'll have this search mini and you'll also have a chat AI built into this. I've never used that, so I can't really show you anything about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that out. But yeah, guys, just a real quick video just to kind of show you what this is about. Desktop organizer. If you don't want to use your start button and organize your programs and documents where they are supposed to, if you insist on using the desktop, um, then this is a nice little organization tool for you to use. But anyway, guys, that is all I have for you. If this was helpful at all, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you give me a like. And if you'd like to see future content, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.